Welcome to our Oklahoma Music Legends podcast, episode one. This story is about a couple. Their names, Wallace and Minerva Willis. Stand by for the story. Before Oklahoma statehood in 1907, Oklahoma was known as Indian Territory. That is where this story begins. Sometime between 1862 and 1865, in Oklahoma's Choctaw County, down near the Red River, Wallace Willis and his wife Minerva, who themselves were Choctaw freedmen, are credited with the writing of several very famous spirituals. I'm a rolling, I'm a rolling. The angels are coming. Steal away to Jesus. Roll Jordan Roll, and probably the most famous of them all, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Alexander Reed, himself an Scottish immigrant, graduates from Divinity School at Princeton. He travels to Indian Territory in 1849 to become the superintendent of the Spencer Academy, which in itself was a home for Choctaw boys. Wallace and Minerva Willis worked at and around the school. Reverend Reed and his family came to love the couple who were known to them and the children as Uncle Wallace and Aunt Minerva. The couple sang their songs as they worked through their chores at the academy and did little performances for Reverend Reed's family and the children of the Spencer Academy, who loved to hear them sing. Unfortunately, Reverend Reed's wife dies in childbirth, and he and his children return home to New Jersey. Years later, in 1871, the Jubilee Singers of Fisk University, a freedman school in Nashville, Tennessee, embark upon an ambitious fundraising tour, performing concerts, throughout eastern cities in the United States and into Europe. Purpose? To raise funds for their school and freedmen's studies throughout the United States. Now let's fast forward to Reverend Reed. While Reverend Reed and his friends are attending the performance of the Jubilee Singers in Newark, New Jersey, Professor White, who is the leader of the singing group, made an announcement to the large group in attendance that due to the lack of additional material, the subsequent performance would be a repeat of the material they had just heard. It is said at that point, Reverend Reed remembered the songs that were sang by Uncle Wallace and Aunt Minerva. He approached Professor White, who was delighted to have the Jubilee Singers learn and perform these songs. In all, Reverend Reed taught the Jubilee Singers six of the songs he had learned from Uncle Wallace and Aunt Minerva. Among them, I'm a Rolling, The Angels Are Coming, Steal Away to Jesus, Roll Jordan Roll, and Swing Low Sweet Chariot. It is said the Red River, the old Red River between Oklahoma and Texas, was the inspiration to Wallace for the Jordan references in his songs. The songs became crowd favorites to those who attended the Jubilee Singers' concerts. It is said at a London performance, Queen Victoria asked the group for an encore of Steal Away to Jesus. Reverend Reed commissioned pictures of both Wallace and Minerva Willis and gifted them to Fisk University in remembrance of their contributions to both Fisk University and the Jubilee Singers. When Reverend Reed shared with Professor White and the Jubilee Singers the songs he heard and loved that Wallace and Minerva Willis sang. It was to provide the singing group more beautiful songs to help them make their concerts more complete and successful. By the way, the Jubilee Singing Group still performs at Fisk University in Nashville today. After much thought and introspection by yours truly, I've come to the following personal conclusion. While Wallace and Minerva's songs may not have brought them the personal notoriety 
and monetary rewards. You know, that song writers reap today, it is a fact. Those songs have served to uplift the spirits of all who have heard them around the world. I remember hearing my grandmother sing Swing Low, Sweet Chariot while going about her chores or in her garden. The state of Oklahoma has made Swing Low, Sweet Chariot the official state gospel song. These songs have been shared around the world by the Jubilee Singers and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir and, oh, by so many other performers. Had it not been for Alexander Reed, Reverend Reed, being in Indian Territory at the Spencer Academy, hearing these songs sung by Uncle Wallace and Aunt Minerva Willis, these wonderful songs may not have gotten to the masses and reached all the hearts that they have over the years. Was it an accident that Reverend Reed was sent or came to the Spencer Academy where he heard these beautiful songs? I think not. I believe these songs were passed along to him as a divine gift to be shared. That's what I'm going to believe regardless. It's a beautiful story. Thank you for listening to Episode 1 of Oklahoma Music Legends. Don't forget to check out our OklahomaMusicLegends.com website and our Oklahoma Music Legends Facebook page. You'll get the latest updates on the releases of new podcasts. I'm Tommy Henshaw. Till next time. Thank you.